Hey, it's a free mannequin. Right there in the garbage. Want this, and this all came out of that storage unit, so I was just uh, doing a little cleaning of it. Uh, this Hamilton Beach toaster. It's used. I cleaned it. It looks nice. The box is in the unit, so I threw it in there. Maybe give you some extra value to it. Uh, pots, pans. Testing this coffee maker at the moment. Cleaned it out a little bit. And um, seems to be brewing, so uh, it should be good to go. Yeah, these little things here, you know, I'm not going to get rich selling all these, but, uh, you know, it does add up. And the stuff that people need, you know, that's why I like selling about kitchen stuff and any kind of household stuff locally. Looks like coffee's brewing. It's pretty nasty in there. Ugh. Give one more cycle here and uh, get this all ready to go. I get up in the evening and I ain't got nothing to say. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Mike here. If you're having a great day or a night, gorgeous day here in Arizona. 72 degrees at the moment. Gotta love it. Today's video, guys, I'm going back to the storage unit to grab more junky junk, junk, junk to sell at the flea market. And uh, I talked to the people at the facility and they said, you know what, just take your time a little bit here. So, uh, gave me an extra couple days to see how much I can get out. At that point, I got to make a decision to either rent a truck and dump all that stuff at the flea market or rent out the units, which I really don't want to do. Problem is, is the furniture. It's big, it's bulky and uh, I don't really feel comfortable leaving at the flea market in terms of just being exposed, right? So it would basically mean I'd have to build like another section onto my current spot to house this stuff, because the sun out here is brutal, I'll be honest. You, you lay anything out in the sun for, you know, a day, I mean, it destroys it out here. So uh, yeah, other than that, just been staying busy, staying focused, Got to get this stuff out of the unit. That's what I'll be doing today. So let's see what we do with an empty van today. Back here at the unit and uh, just talked to the guy that runs the unit and uh, might have an opportunity here to get rid of all the furniture and uh, the mattresses. So he brought something by that's really interested in it. So um, he's gonna give me more time to keep the stuff here as long as I keep this furniture here and she's interested in buying it. She uh, actually runs the local pawn shop. So uh, that's gonna be great for me. I'm gonna grab all the small stuff I can and leave the furniture and see what kind of deal we can get for it all. I mean, as you guys can see, it's still, I mean, there's another nine feet back there. <laughs> so, uh, all right, I'm gonna keep digging and load the van up. Pulling out some clothing here, and um, I could have swore I just saw her mace tie. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. Her maze. Question is, is this real? Bunch of ties here, but uh, that's legit. I'm in. Pretty cool. Been dying to see what this clock is. I can't pull it out just yet. Westminster clocks. Made in Denmark. Not sure. It's in Germany. Can't really see what's going on with that. I think the glass is missing in the front there. It doesn't have glass. I don't know. Hopefully it's worth some money. More stuff. All right, going through this box here and uh, found a compact pocket PC. I don't think there's any value to that, but who knows, we'll look it up. Um, just some cool co uh, coasters here. And then there's drug paraphernalia in here. Um, I'm not even gonna reach my hand in there with a glove because there could be needles in there. So uh, <laughs> there's just a bunch of stuff in here. It looks like there's some adult toys, uh, women's flashlight. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's right there though. Open it up and it's gonna live the Jesus out of me. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Working this corner here. 
I got the van pretty much good to go on this trip here, but still lots of stuff to go through here. I do feel a lot better that I don't have to take a lot of the furniture with me because this lady might buy it all. So uh, just got to get through all the boxes and the small little junk there and see if we can just uh, flip the whole unit to her at some point. Uh, probably not going to be today, probably tomorrow at some point. So uh, just trying to grab all the smalls I can out of here to sell at the flea market and the stuff that's trash, just dump it. All right, here is the clock. It's pretty plain Jane looking there. I'm assuming there might have been glass in there. I don't know. It doesn't look to be uh, worth anything crazy. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Westminster. There's some extra chimes there at the bottom. So, uh, I have to do a little investigative work on this, but, you know, I don't know how to repair these. So, I don't know if it works. I don't know if there's any value to it. But, uh, just wanted to turn it over and see what it was. And it's all right, but it's just not... I don't think it's something fabulous. All right, the van is filled here. Lots of junk, man. Oh, boy. So this is where we're leaving the unit at the moment. It honestly doesn't even look like I grabbed anything, but I did. As you can see when we go in here, it's just a freaking zoo in here. <laughs> I'm able to get into that corner somewhat. There's some more bookshelves back there. Lots of pillows. Um... I still haven't gotten to that corner. So, uh, yeah, slow going, but uh, making some kind of progress. Hey, it's a free mannequin. Right there in the garbage. Along with some dressers. Hmm. So I was just bored driving back to going to the flea market here. So I started to Google what that thing was I was looking at. And um, all I'm going to say is it's some kind of women's flashlight. All right. And um, I just Googled image it, and I'm like, oh, that's what that is. Uh, I'd show it to you guys, but, you know, YouTube doesn't allow that type of stuff. But uh, it's it's just, the secrets always come out in the storage units, that for sure, man. <laughs> it's just, I opened it up, I thought it was a flashlight. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Flashing the craziness, that is for sure. All right, let's pull it up to the old flea market. There's people actually shopping here today. Huh. Yeah, let's see. We'll go around here. So here's my spot. Once you come in, you come right to the left. And right behind this uh, Pontiac is the Global Voodoo Hut. I'm going to load this madness. Going through some of the stuff that was in the, the unit, came across this Arizona Department of Health Services warning. I mean, that's how the the marijuana comes. But look at the bullet shells here in the casings. Nothing really of value in here. Some tools, but nothing nothing crazy. So uh, gonna keep digging along tell you sometimes you just feel like you're just just staring at trash all the time it's amazing what people keep just toss it out just toss it out <sighs> here's a big box of clothing I went through it and didn't really say anything so uh got one of the flea market guys over here coming right now and I said you just want this dude saves me from throwing it to dump or boxes I'm gonna give it to Goodwill he's like yeah I could sell it I said all right bring your dolly over all right, found me a new friend. He's grabbing all my trash and stuff I don't want to sell, so that's good. He's even taking the, the trash garbage, so it saves me some trips to the can. So, yeah, uh, this stuff I got to take home, I got to go through it. Some of that I got to clean up, uh, but most of it's out of here to some extent. There's some books here that I got to go through. I don't know what they are, but, uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, it's getting pretty darn windy in here. Closing up shop here. It looks like it's pretty much secured. I gotta get that area there. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here, guys, for me to flip here in the coming days. So uh, time to seal this bad boy up. All packed up here in this windy afternoon. Got some junk I'm gonna take home with me to go through it, a fine tooth comb, 
never know what's in these boxes of junkage. But, uh, yeah, find me a little helper so uh, he can take the trash and uh, the stuff I don't want to sell. He can sell it and does whatever. So uh, that worked out for me. And these people are still shopping. Shopping, shopping, shopping. At the Shoppers Barn Swap Meet. Lots of these vendors are permanently here seven days a week. Not me. Now you stay strong, Global Voodoo Hut. <laughs> Look at that thing. Looks like it's going to explode. Okay, back home. Got some stuff we're going to go through here. And see if we can pull out any winners. If I find something cool, we'll put it on camera. So lately, this has but been uh, kind of what I've been dealing with with these boxes of stuff. Um, let me show you kind of what I've got. Just random knickknacks like bits and metal necklace findings. I got rolling papers. You know. Um, be, this is kind of neat. Uh, NRA limited edition. Theodore Roosevelt knife. I don't know what the value of this is, but uh, we're going to keep it. Uh, what else is here? Got some, finally got some change, looks like. See a dime? What else? Oh, what we got here? Ooh, iPod. Yeah, I have a nice little iPod there. Four gigabyte. I have to fire that up and see if that works. Has a watch. Gucci. Probably fake. But you never know. Uh, what else? We got, we're popping pills. <laughs> we got pawn. Uh, got some batteries. Nothing else too crazy here. Maybe a silver chain. I don't know. Let's see. Doesn't appear to be. I don't see any. Oh, what's it say there? I can't make it out. Just a letter. So, let's see what that, if that's anything worth writing home about. Oh, we got a credit card, brand new. All I gotta do is sign the back and start spending. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go through here and see if we can find anything else. I don't know if see anything too crazy. But uh, that's kind of what I'm dealing with, is each box has just got like a layer of junk at the bottom. And, um, you know, I gotta go through it all. Found a bunch of locks. Maybe one of these keys opens the locks. So yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. I know I mentioned earlier about that little toy. It's actually a flashlight, <laughs> not a flashlight. For those that are curious, I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. I'll hang on to it. I don't know if it's some kind of punch. I don't know. Maybe it's drugs. Bottom of a bong. I don't know. Um. All right. Got another one of these salt rocks. Uh, the bulb inside there is busted, so I gotta basically unscrew the bottom of that. Um, some random books here. A lot of Dragon Singer books and uh, Dragon Song books. Some C.S. Lewis books, paperbacks. Found the Elvis cassette tape. Heartbreak Hotel. Got a Prada bag. I know some of these bags sometimes, the shopping bags, can be worth some cash, so I'll look that up. If not, come to the flea market. I thought this was neat. This is drawing. Isn't that pretty wild? Look at that. It's pretty amazing. Look at this one. Pretty incredible. So I like that type of stuff there. Um, over here we've got... This is the stuff that came out of those two totes. Now uh, we've got more new ink, some coins, little coins and little tiny things in there. Nothing too crazy. Nothing. I found a Black & Decker uh, battery. Was that drill. Just some random stuff there, but nothing too outrageous. So, uh, going to start working on the rest of the pile. This is pretty cool. Kind of stands out and flips it over. It's uh, Jack's house, Authentic Disney, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Sculpture number A5307. I have no idea if there's, this is valuable or not. It looks like that's cracked back there. Could be wrong. Maybe it's dust or grime, who knows. But uh, we'll look it up, see if there's any value to that. Uh, here, just to randomness. Expo 
mild formula for a dry erase board or the dry eraser. So we'll go through here. This just appears to be all dark. This is a pen. VA pin. Yeah, this looks like all darts. What's this? See, I start finding stuff like this. Actually, this looks like it goes to a fish tank. Part of a filter. Just a bunch of randomness. So, yeah. Time to dig through this bin. Looks like uh, right off the bat we got one of those wall clippers. Oh, that looks brand new. Been open. That's nice. Take that. Eight to ten bucks. Maybe twelve bucks at the flea. This is just all personal paperwork, looks like, but you never know. A lot of them are like this where I'm digging through all paperwork and at the bottom there's all these little treasures. So if I see anything cool, I'll let you know. This is the bottom of that tote. What do you think? Is it in here? No, I don't hear nothing. Made in China. Box made in China. Let's see. Ugh. Nothing. Nada, nothing, nada. Oh, so yeah, nothing really came out of this. There's some stim gel electroids. I found a bunch of these. Maybe a lot of them up on eBay or something. Nothing crazy. Some random books. Um, I did find some paperwork in here regarding. I was kind of right. His family, his mom had passed away, and he got the estate. And uh, just from looking at everything here, he just kind of blew it all on drugs and. Um, he worked at a halfway house, and I, I don't know. He was uh, six years older than me, so late 40s. But, yeah, nothing uh, nothing too crazy here. Uh, this little thing made in Japan, nothing crazy. Some random books, but uh, didn't produce any gold. Here's what I've harvested. Look at all these bullet casings. It's crazy. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys something here, all right? Um, so all of this stuff here is harvested from the unit. Stuff that I think I could sell, stuff that I could sell online and sell at the flea market. It looks like a complete mess, which it totally is, and it goes all the way down here. So um, this is all sellable stuff to some extent. Um, I didn't keep any trash here. Uh, some stuff, I like for cables, you know, I always keep the cables because you never know when you need one. Um, and it's just totes. This probably goes back about three feet just full of stuff so far. So, um, just, you know, finding iPhone 6 boxes, found an iPhone 5 box, just a lot of knickknacks, batteries galore, just a lot of stuff. And um, where we're at right now is just the, uh, I got one more box to do of clothing, but I'll probably do that tomorrow because uh, I'll be honest, I'm tired of digging through this stuff. It's fun, but uh, going days on end digging is... It's getting to be a little too much, so uh, got to take a break from it, that is for sure. The day ended as it had started, cold, dark, and miserable. Sleep had evaded me, so I went out for a walk and found myself at the local park. The grass crunched satisfyingly as I made my errant path through the still-alive park. Thanks for watching today's video. If you're out there making some money... Digging through some trashola, looking for the cashola. Got there, be great. So next time I'm out of here, peace. Vlog.